let's quickly revise AS5. This is the biggest standard in terms of standard name. Contents are very easy. This standard has four separate concepts. The pro concepts are net profit for the period, prior period items, change in accounting estimate and change in accounting policy. The standard basically tells, explains each of these concepts separately and if this happens, how you should disclose this in the financial statements. Let's come in reverse. For example, change in accounting policy. If there is a change in accounting policy, for example, FIFO to weighted average, standard is saying you can change as per AS1, but if you change, disclose the impact in current year FS and disclose the impact in next year FS. Next, change in accounting estimate. Estimates are meant to be changed because for example, provision on bad and doubtful debts, you will estimate 10%. Again, if Vijay Malia leaves the country, 10% will become 20%. So whenever estimate changes, the standard is saying, just disclose again in the current year FS and future years FS. Standard also says, when you can change accounting estimate, two cases, result of new information or change in circumstances in which estimate is made. Next, prior period items. These are simple. In any of the previous financial years when financial statements are prepared, if you have done any mistake, carefully remember guys, mistake relating to error or omission. Any error or any omission in the previous financial year, you can rectify in the current financial year, but again disclose it separately in the current financial year and its impact on net profit. Sir, how many years past mistakes you can change? There is no limit. If you identify this year error or omission, you can rectify. Lastly, coming to net profit for the period. Net profit comes because of ordinary activities and extraordinary activities. They first define extraordinary activities as things which are non-recurring in nature and other than ordinary activities. For example, earthquake is an extraordinary activity for India but not for a country like Japan. They also say net profit can come from ordinary or extraordinary. Now you learnt what is extraordinary. What is ordinary activities? Most of the transactions come under ordinary activities. Net profit from furtherance of business, arising from business and incidental from business. Scrap sale or arising from business or other income or furtherance of business. Even if I fire employees, this is for furthering the business. So this becomes ordinary activities. Lastly, the standard or the law does not define a new term called exceptional. Exceptional activities is somewhere between ordinary and extraordinary events. I would say ordinary events but not classified directly under ordinary. You can't put them in extraordinary also. Middle ground is exceptional items. Few examples the standard gives for exceptional items is writing down inventory to NRV or insurance claim from sale of assets. No, insurance claim from destruction of assets any litigation settlement, any mergers, these are all few exam examples of exceptional items. This is a quick capsule revision of AS5 which is very important for exam for your one mark and two mark questions. Thank you.